Select the file menu. Choose Retrieve. Navigate to the folder your archive is stored in and double click to retrieve. Choose the folder you want to retrieve the archive to and click OK. And the archive unzips. You'll get a message telling you that the data has been retrieved and what directory it has been stored in. You can check this box not to have this message display in the future if you like. Click OK. Click Yes to open the project. Now let's retrieve the same project again. Click the File menu. Choose Retrieve and double click the file. Select an archive location and choose OK. And the file unzips. This time you don't see the message telling you that the file was retrieved since we click not to show it again. Click Yes to open the project. Here you can see that an underscore one was addended to the new project retrievals path, but the project name is exactly the same. This could become very confusing if you retrieve a project more than once. It is recommended that you change the project name itself to help keep them straight. Let's add the word backup to this one. Now it's easier to tell the projects apart. 